Good morning, my beautiful YouTube subscribers. I'm gonna be adding another coat to the roof today. And then I'm gonna take this paper, I'm gonna take this tape, and we're gonna tape off the bus to get ready to um, hit all of the bare metal with the Rust-Oleum primer. When once that's dry, we will go ahead and start painting the bus. So I'm gonna mix this up. And then uh, jump on the roof, get another coat on there, let that start drying, and start taping everything off.
pencils out of sand Reaching for the ground We are completely taped up and now I'm going to hit it with some Rust-Oleum on the bare metal and I'll show you that to you guys and then I'm also going to hit the windows with a little bit of black spray paint just so that they're, that they're not silver on the outside. But let me show you what I'm using for the bare me metal. So like on all the parts where I sand it down like this, I'm going to spray paint it with this. And then that will prevent the bare metal from rusting in the future. And then I'm just gonna use regular black spray paint to get this, all of the trim on the windows black. And uh, that way everything just matches. And then once all that's dry, then we can actually start painting the bus. And as far as the top coat goes, again, this is what I used. It's a Lastromeric roof coating. Um, you can find it at any hardware store for the most part, or they even have it at Walmart. And the reason I'm using that is it's like an equivalent to the Henry's Tropical. Um, I do believe from what I've heard that it's a lot easier to work with. It's not as sticky and thick like what most people use for um, on the Henry's Tropical. Henry's does have other ones. Henry's has one that's more like this, which is I think what Isaac switched to and which is what he's been using on his buses as well. I have four coats on there and I have a whole other gallon of paint. I might put another coat on there. I'm not sure if I should just take it back or not. Um, some friends said that they have five coats of that stuff on their roof. They use the same thing. So I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to do another coat. So what do you think? Should I go for it and do another coat? If I do and I open that can, I'll probably wind up putting maybe a couple more coats instead of just one so I can get some use out of it. I think it was like $25 for the gallon. So if I don't wind up putting another coat, I can actually just take it back. So I'm kind of on the fence of what I want to do. Um, I'm not really sure if it'll truly make a difference adding a couple coats more or just leaving it at four coats. So that's kind of where I'm at right now on the roof. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit all of the bare metal with the Rust-Oleum and then I'm gonna hit the window seals with the black spray paint. I'm gonna let that dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna jump right into actually painting the bus. And let me, sh or I guess I'll show you all of that tomorrow when I'm actually painting the bus, like what paint I'm using and why and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah. Let's get back to work. Undercover agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond
So I went around the whole bus, I got everything uh, spray painted for the Rust-Oleum. I did this side for the black on the trim on the windows. The only reason I didn't do the other side is because, well, I ran out of spray paint. That was actually a can that I just had left over from, I don't even know what, but I had it, so I used it. I'm gonna see if Isaac has any extra black spray paint, and if so, I'm gonna hit this side and do the windows and then let that dry overnight and then tomorrow the actual paint goes on so i'm super super uber excited about that oh my goodness um actually there's a couple spots like this that i missed so i'm just gonna right now go around and double check everything make sure i got all of the bare metal hit with the rust-oleum and then tomorrow the paint goes on so i'm pretty pretty excited um I don't know how many coats of paint I have to do. I'm thinking probably more than one. I'm not sure. I think on Brandon's bus when they painted it, they just did it in a day. So it's like, did they put two coats on? I don't know. I'll have to ask Isaac. But we're getting closer to having paint color and I'm super excited about it. So I'm really looking forward to actually seeing at least one coat on there because it's gonna make such a big difference. Just having the roof done, like, it just looks so good and then also the lights that are on top I'm gonna wind up taking those out and the grill also I'm gonna take that off um, I didn't uh, I didn't tape the bumper I didn't think about it so I got a little bit of spray paint on that so I'll probably tape off the bumper too and just hit it with black spray paint uh, make it look nice and new I'm gonna spray paint the lights black in the front and the back I don't use them I don't even I think legally you can't so I'm gonna spray paint those black and then the grill also I'm gonna spray paint black and so and I might take the mirrors off in and, and touch those up with some black spray paint as well so I just want it to look really nice and I think that it will I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything and just touch up anything that I missed and then tomorrow's officially paint day so I'm excited to uh, get that video out for you guys so you'll see the paint in a couple of days but thanks for sticking out, sticking out this journey with me as far as the paint goes because it is such a daunting task. It's, so, it's such tedious work and it just takes such a long time. Like it's been like what a week and I'm still working on the paint. So it is what it is. That's all a part of the journey. But thank you guys so much for um, hanging out with me and coming along for the ride because that's definitely what it, it's been. It's been quite a ride. Um, just thank you guys so much and as always like subscribe comment whatever you want to do and i will see you guys on the next one